right, so now I'm going to explain a little bit about InStudios. So first thing is how to set up the station for an InStudio. Um, there's that couch on the other side of the station, and if you have a bunch of band members coming in, you're welcome to slide that out of here and into the library so it's out of the way. If you only have one or two people coming, it's fine to keep it in here. Uh, also, when you're about to start your InStudio, you're going to have to meet your band. They've never been to Vanderbilt before. They don't know how to get into this very small corner of the campus. So you're going to go out to the intersection of 24th and Vanderbilt Place, which is right near Branscombe and Frat Row. Uh, they're instructed to park right around there, so you're going to meet them on that corner and walk them here and offer to carry in equi any equipment that they have. Um, then when they come in and you're ready to start your in-studio, you want to make sure you have the mic set up correctly. So if there's only one or two people, you can devote a mic to each of them. Otherwise, you want to set up the mics to capture the sound in the whole room. So just kind of make sure there's one, at least one, generally pointed in the direction of each <coughs> band member. Um, this is mic one. You're probably going to want to keep that on yourself. Mic two, mic three, and mic four. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're turning them on on the control board, which mic is which. And make sure that the red lights go on when you press it, because sometimes uh, if you don't press it hard enough, they won't turn on and you won't get great sound. Something that's really important when you do an in-studio is for putting it in the playlist tracker, you only enter it one time. A lot of people try to put in every song that the band plays, and we have the rule with Live 365 that if we play an artist more than three times every three hours, our stream gets shut down. So in-studios are a huge cause of that, because if you put in every song they play, you're going to make that happen really quickly. So you just need to put the artist live in studio one time, and that's it for the whole in studio. Um, basically, besides that, you just want to make sure you're professional with your band. You want to make sure when you're asking them interviewing questions that you're getting the story. You don't just want yes or no answers. You want something that is really going to invite them to open up and uh, let you know something about them that they didn't know or that your listeners didn't know before. So just keep that in mind, what you need to do to set up for an in-studio, how to put it in the playlist tracker, and how you should behave with the band.